Hi, this is Earl again. I have a uh, 1987 110 Land Rover, right hand drive, turbo diesel, 5 speed transmission, and I'm going to let you ride along with us and how nice it runs. Take a walk around video when it's parked and show you, uh, you know, what's going on with it and some uh, still pictures. Um, it's just a great driving truck and a lot of people ask me, uh, call me up, uh, you probably need one or two phone calls uh, every other day uh, asking me if I, you got a Land Rover that isn't all uh, fixed up or isn't painted or isn't, uh, it's got a four panel that needs repairing and things like that. And I never do. I, you know, everything that I, 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 I come across is usually a pretty decent Land Rover. Now, I come across this one. It's a very decent Land Rover. But it's got a couple edges on it that aren't quite, um, you know, to, to make this thing pristine. Um, this is an excellent mechanical vehicle. It goes um, it, it goes down the road absolutely perfect. It's got all the power in the world. That's what I said. And um, it's going to take you for a little ride and then I'll show you some other things and talk about it. Alright, I'm going to put you on park for a minute and um, 
Um, I'm gonna stop it, walk around it with the video, and it's still pictures. Okay, I'm back. Um, just gonna walk around it on the outside as a video. Uh, I'll point out a few things. You can see that this um, roof rack that is on here, I've never seen one like this uh, out of all the Land Rovers I've ever uh, had. I've never seen a, um, a, a checker plate roof rack. Uh, it, looks, it looks perfect. I mean, this, this thing is uh, definitely not cheap. And I think it's it looks pretty good on this truck, to be honest with you. Um, you know, everybody wants to know about the bulkhead and everything else. It is uh, it's, it looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, I'm sure you can see this this truck was painted with a rattle can, you know, just a spray can that you buy in your local hardware store. Unfortunately. Um, that's terrible when they do that. Um, I would much rather see, and I've been doing it a lot with my Land Rovers. I have been uh, going to Home Depot, and I buy a gallon of porch paint, and I take a roller and a brush, um, and just paint it. You come up with that nice, dull, matte finish. You... Um, it'll pr probably take you not not even a quarter of a gallon to paint one of these. And you have the paint forever, so if you get a scrub mark or you get a mark on your truck or a scratch or a nick or whatever the case may be, you can go right ahead and, you know, just touch it up like you would a, a wall in your house. And um, I'll tell you, for my... You know, some people enjoy a real shiny, perfect uh, Land Rover, and I understand it. I mean, that's, it's, that's their uh, that's their shot. That's what they want to do. But um, honestly, I like the dull look. It just makes these things look better, and um, and that's my opinion on it. And this truck definitely needs. Um, you know, a, a little bit better paint job on it. It, it. I mean, you could drive it just the way it is. It's not going to bother anything. But it, it's stuff like this where the overspray has been on things. Um, but there's a floor mat that goes across this. I have taken it out. I want to give everybody a look so they can see, um, you know, just how the, the condition of the floors are. Back uh, on the front passenger is the is the uh, worst area and I think you can see right here is a little hole and this is a piece of uh, uh, flooring that has gone bad now the nice thing about these as you can see they just bolt in you can call Rovers North here in the States uh, they're located up in Vermont and um, they'll send you whatever pieces of flooring you want you can get them just plain pieces of metal or you can get the uh, complete diamond plate set uh, or checker plate set uh, which looks great um, I think you can see here on the steering column there's a little red light flashing that's for some kind of a security thing you can't start the truck unless you put a little plug that's on a keychain you put it in there you make the light go out and you start the truck um, more of a pain in the ass than anything else. It's got a nice headliner in it. As you can see, the condition of the seats are great. 